Abduct me! So, perhaps you can tell us, are you a at the head of the UFO project for three years and you've researched other cases since. What kind of abduction stories have you come across? Um, there are some common themes that run through these, these sorts of things. I mean, at, at basic level, you get somebody who claims to have seen a, a UFO and then they'll have a period of so-called missing time. They'll perhaps um, be on a, a journey in a car and they'll get home, um, you know, an hour or two later than, than they should have done uh, on, say, a regular journey, and they'll have no idea what happened in that missing period, other than perhaps a vague recollection of seeing a strange light in the sky. When they begin to think back about it, um, sometimes it comes out through people just remembering, sometimes maybe through dreams, they begin to suspect that something happened in that period of missing time. Something, something happened, and, and their memory was wiped. Um, and then you get into the whole business of regression hypnosis, uh, which a lot of people use uh, to probe this period of missing time. And that's when you get quite a, a standardised account. And that's quite interesting because it comes out from people uh, who very often have little or no knowledge of the subject um, and people who don't know each other. And yet, a fairly similar narrative structure emerges. In other words, somebody is taken into a spaceship, they're placed um, on their back on some sort of table or raised platform. Very often people describe being paralysed, very often lines of dialogue like, this won't hurt, or we mean you no harm will, will be heard. Um, and these are common themes that they're all... They, they run through an awful lot of these, these accounts. Um, and again, in terms of the description of the beings, again, there's a surprising amount of commonality. People uh, describe entities which are essentially grey in colour, um, about three and a half or four feet tall, with disproportionately large heads, quite spindly arms and legs, essentially humanoid. But the most uh, striking feature is uh, large, black, almond-shaped eyes. Abduct me!